Now the sound of the three beat letters. Oscar and Sierra. In combination, one particular combination, they've got a rhythm nobody misses. India is a quick little two-step. Mike clumps around heavy-footed. Our founder and benefactor, Mr. Samuel F. B. Morse, was a practical man. He reserved the shortest sound patterns for the letters we use the most. Echo, one lonely dip. And tango, one solid da. Now the beat is trickier, but still easy enough to get in the characters that combine dits and da's. Yankee, for example. No, slow it down. Da, de, da, da. That's a soldier changing step. Watch. Da, de, Da, da. Yankee rhythm every time. Charlie's different. He's always changing step. Da, di, da, di. Juliet is a girl walking away mad. Di, da, Da, da. And Romeo couldn't care less. Did, da, did. In short, the pattern of dits and da's and spaces gives a very special sound to each of the 36 characters in our code. And you cannot send that sound simply by counting out the dits and da's and letting the spaces between them stretch out while you count. Romeo is not dit, da, dit. It's did da dit. Listen. And you won't get Lima merely by adding one more dit. Dit, da, dit, dit. It falls apart when you stop that way. You must send the complete sound of Lima. Did I did it? Listen. Did I did it? Did I did it? Two different sounds, two different beats, two different rhythms. So much for the spacing between the dits and da's of a character. Very tight and uniform. Spacing between the characters in a word or group is uniform too, but longer. A definite space or pause after a letter is completed, even when he speeds up. 